Hey, hey, oh, you mechanical maniacs. How's it going? Hers Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Uh, don't mind me. I'm, I'm like checking out the area around here. Uh, I was looking to see if there was an area, a nice area, that I could possibly park some junk cars that I could uh, work on eventually. Maybe, maybe over here. Maybe along this wall right here. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. Um, just, you know, just uh, project cars and such is what I was looking for. Um, because today our Mustang should be our Mustang Shelby GT350 should be about done. We're going to paint it and we are going to keep it, I believe. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do go over here. I did find the part finally. Um, and the front license plate for it. So we want to go ahead and take that on there. Um, so I have this body part right there. Okay, it's 34%. Hang on, let me go fix that up real quick. So yeah, this was this was my my last piece that I could not find. So finally found that. Um, as you can tell by my money, I went through a whole lot of junkyard cars and such to get to where I'm at right now. Um, I flipped a lot of cars. I really, really did. Um, does this have? No, it does not put some fluids in this um i flipped a lot of cars and made a lot of money flipping the cars and i was looking for bits and pieces for this shelby um primarily that's why it was that's why i was flipping cars as i was going to the junkyard often i was going to the kowalski's auction house which i lost my butt on a couple of times i mean really lost my butt by about five grand on one car but I was able to, you know, just do a little bit of a cleanup and flip it. And and actually, I made a little bit of money on it. Not a whole lot, you know. So, wasn't a big deal. But I did make money. Which was the best thing ever. Um, so, with that, I, when I went through all these cars and such, I finally found the part for the Shelby. And I was so happy. But then I was looking, hey, I met went over a million dollars. I was like, very happy about that. So that'll give me enough of a, uh, enough of a, uh, a cushion to build the engine for my tow truck and get my tow truck done and get it over there. That's where I want it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a plus. All right. So Mustang is done. We're going to send her over the test path. Let's go ahead and take care of everything else that we need to always always the little details right always the little details that's what that's what it takes and take care of the headlights okay okay that's done now to paint it and you know what i'm going to leave it this color I really, really am. Um, let's go ahead and get the paint. Car is dirty. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Clean it all up. All right. So we're going to use the current color to it, and we're going to go um, liveries. Black, yellow, red. It's for the Boss 302. Boss, boss, boss. GT350 beige. GTB350 black. The black looks actually awesome. Did I have black stripes on it? I think I did, didn't I? Or is it white stripes? It wasn't blue. Uh, could have been white. Let's uh, escape and see what we have here. Um, yeah, there were white stripes. I like the black. I think the black stripes actually look better on it. So, yeah, so I'm going to kind of go outside the box here. I'm going to go. I am going to go with the. I'm going to go with the black stripes with the teal. So I think it looks good with the, with the um, black interior. I'm going to go with the black and I'm going to paint. There we go. 
Very pretty. Very pretty. Well done. Uh, let's run her over to the dyno real quick just to see what she'll do. Uh, this is all stock numbers, so it should just go ahead and measure out stock. But because everything's new, we just want to make sure everything's fitted well and it runs well. Alright, there we go. We are spot on. Uh, we got a drag rating of 153, which is not all that great in the D field. It's kind of like in the mid, right in the middle of it, and that is not going to help. Okay, so now we're going to keep it. I'm going to send it to parking. And if we go out here. Out here to the parking, that's where it's going to sit. But I want to bring it over to another spot. I want to bring it over here. So let's go in and take a look at my parking area here. Parking. So my Ford Mustang here. Uh, no, it's this one. Nope. Yeah, this one right here. Uh, this is going to get swapped to that area. All right, so we'll step right here, take a look. There we go. So we got the Mustang out there next to the GTO. Some classic cars out here. That's what I'm like. We're just having a nice classic, classic car collection out here. The Judge, I really need to um, probably need to bring in an overhaul and paint this thing orange what I probably need to do but uh, that's about it all right so so far for the hot rod I remembered I took it to the drag strip uh, last episode episode before and lost my butt right well it's because right now I am looking at uh, a 175 I need to get it to a high D right and to get it to the high D I believe I believe I, I want to say we uh, I think we replaced all the spark plugs in it. Nope, spark plugs are good. So the spark plugs are staying in it. Uh, wires. The wires are only 18%. So if I were to... Uh, let's go ahead and put those gone so we're going to run this back over to the dyno right because this is how i did it the last time uh we're going to run you over to the dyno we're looking to get uh a high d out of this so let's for the electrical sake let's take out the wires let's go to here let's get ourselves a set of wires uh, v8 wires okay Okay, so we put the brand new wires on it. Let's do a run quick test and see where we're at. I don't expect much of a gain, but you never know. Still running a 176. All right. Okay, so we're still running a 176 on it. Haven't really gained anything on it whatsoever. So let's see here. Uh, what is it that we could possibly? Uh, what I could do. Carburetors look like they're in decent shape. Uh, let's buy one new filter. 
How's that? Let's buy one new filter. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. 40 credits. So let's see here. We're going to... Put it on the... Hang on. Where is the other one at? I thought I bought one. Eighty-five by part. Okay, thought I swear I did. Did I buy something? No, I did. Oh, I bought that one. <laughs> um, that was stupid of me. All right, um, let's go ahead and take this one off. Actually, that one looks like it's the worst on the worst carburetor. We'll put the good one on the good bad carburetor. I don't think this air scoop would do anything. So, all right. Got that. All right, let's do another run with it and see what we get. So one good air filter. Got a 177 out of it. So we're slowly but surely creeping that up in there. Hey, 177. So I could probably put both those carbs in there. Okay, so let's take that off. This off. Uh, how bad are these carbs? Carbs. So if I were to take this carb off, 28%. Okay. Let's try one carb. So one carb. That's the worst one of the bunch, so we'll put a brand new carb on it. New filter back there, old filter on this one. Back with the air scoop. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to squeeze, squeeze this out as much as possible and not go over. I don't want to go into a Charlie rating, a C rating. I want to stay in the D class. So that's why I'm doing this. Seventy-seven still, and I replaced a carburetor on it, the brand new carburetor. Interesting. All right, I think that's going to be enough for today. We've we've done everything we possibly could to try and raise the rating. We've raised it by two. We put a new carburetor, a new air filter on it, and brand new, uh, a brand new wire setup. I thought would actually be better for it, but I guess not. Um, I go with the coil uh, fuel filter. I'll probably do that too. So next time we'll try to we'll tweak this in a little bit more as we go. Um, these parts I'm actually going to take over and put them in the storeroom here. Oops. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, electronics. There. And then engines and exhaust. Bam and bam. Okay. Uh, then we're going to... Let's go ahead and change the warehouse name. Just to warehouse. For right now. 
Come on. Okay, we're going to change the name just to warehouse. Okay. Now that we've done all that, um, open that door so I kept s smacking my head in it. All right, let's hit a barn because this is what this is all about, right? We need to find ourselves another classic to create and or something. Something to add to my collection out here. So let's hit a barn and find out what we can get. All right, let's find out what we got here. We have a beamer right in front of me, right off the bat. Uh, wow, okay. No wheel. Those wheels look rough, man. It's a version two. 36 for it for a $30,000 car. I'm not even sure I want to pay that price for it. Um, anything over here? Oh, look at this. Look at this McLaren. Look at the price tag on that bad boy. No, thank you. That's not even in the budget. Okay, so Beamer and McLaren. What the hell? What do we got here? Oh my, this is okay. Ford Falcon X is a restro mod. It's, uh, only 2,000 miles on it. Hey. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I think we have a winner, winner, chicken dinner here. She looks like she has all of her body parts for the most part. How's the engine looking? Engine's a little bit in rough shape, but I think we can work with this. Uh, price tag. 19. It's, it's there. Okay, so we have found our other classic creation right here. Ford Falcon X. So we are going to buy the car. Send it to the garage. All right. Now that we've done that, let's do a quick and thorough. Quick up. There it is. Right up. Right off the bat. Bam. Got one. Got the case. All right. Well, that was that was kind of quick and easy there for a minute. I think I was going to lose my mind considering there was a Beamer there and a McLaren on the other side. So let's go ahead and get the get that out of here, shall we? All right, let's head back to the garage. All right. Let's give this bad boy a bath real quick and see what we have underneath all this dust. Woohoo. Doesn't look like it's, it's got a kind of a weird looking color to it, it looks like. Let's uh, give it a bath. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, that is one pretty car right there. Yes, sir. Not fond of the wheels on it, by the way. But I do like the way it looks. Uh, so I think what we're going to end up doing with this is it will be a classic creation. Uh, I am going to modify it slightly. I think I'm going to put a different set of wheels and tires on it. Uh, but the rest of it, I'm going to maintain it as stock as possible. So let's go ahead and put you on the lifter. I can foresee what I'm gonna do with this. I, I can just see what I want. Um, I think this will look good. It is a resto mod, right? Yeah, resto mod. So yeah, we got ourselves a beautiful car here. Um, low miles, ready to roll. Uh, what was that? and send you up because I want to get the drop the get the oil out of it now with something like this watch I'll have like body parts that I can't find or something okay so that, that wasn't a whole lot was it uh, let's drop the let's drop the drive shaft out of it The system doesn't look like it's intact that much. Drop that. Go ahead and move the exhaust. Let's see what we got here. Uh, and that exhaust. Starter. And box. Okay. 
All right. Let's lower you back down. Let's see if we can repair some of these pieces here. Drive shaft, not a big deal. Looks like we're good with the starter too. That's good. And transmission. So far, so good. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves our warehouse here. Um, I want to change that warehouse name. Falcon. Go. Accept. Boom. Boom. Drive shaft. Gearbox. Starter. Right. Uh, and then I wanted to. This was this stuff. This exhaust. Just slap this over into the exhaust sections. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. Back here. There we go. One, go ahead and yank the motor out. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the motor on the stand over here. Now, I, I won't say that I'm going to leave it here, but it will stay here for right now. Hopefully, we can overhaul most of that. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Now, the radiator looks like it's in really good shape. I mean, a lot of this I'm missing. I'm missing the ABS there. Uh, let's go ahead and yank out the radiator. Oh, I forgot to pull the coolant out. I guess that's okay. There is no coolant at this spot. Uh, okay. And then if I add stuff. Ooh, I'm going to need. Uh, let's buy some brand new stuff here. I need. Reservoir, battery, alright, so let's see what we have here, let's go ahead and pick up, uh, don't need that, microfluid, Reservoir, reservoir, brake servo. I think I got two. I think, yeah, so it shows I have two in here. So let's go here. Uh, engine and exhaust, uh, brakes. I don't have the cover. I only got one. Yikes. All right. So much for that. Okay, got those pieces fixed up. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Ah. So we got the brake servo, power steering reservoir, washer, coolant, radiator, and the ABS pump. Alright, so now I need a battery. Let's go ahead and take let's take this out. This engine cover. We can go ahead and repair that and go ahead and stick it back in there, I think. Go. That's all put back together. Oh, I need shroud and two fans. Ugh. That's going to be hard. That's that's actually going to be kind of hard. Um, all right. So I don't think I have. I think I have that. Battery, I might. Battery, I do have. So we'll go ahead and take that battery off. Stick that battery in. Uh, oof. Yeah, I don't think I have most of these parts. I'm going to have to go scavenging. Um, engines and exhaust.
Uh, I got a dual fan. Housing. I do not have fan one and fan two. I've got fan two, but I don't have fan one. So let's go ahead and... All right. So this is what I'm going to end up doing, right? I'm going to have to end up going to find some, some spare engine parts here. See how bad that fender is. That fender looks horrible. Um, so... 33%. Okay, we're good with that. Um... Looks brain de new right there. Okay, um Yeah. Uh, let's see, where's that fuse box at? There it is. Don't have a cover. I'm going to have to find covers. I'm going to have to find some pieces for this. So even though this looked like it was going to be an easy job, it's not, right? Because it just isn't. It just never is. Okay, so the fuse box will come out. I can. Let's see if we have anything in the electronics section. We don't. If we do. It would have one lousy cover. Okay, so I have one cover. Uh, go ahead and mount that in. And then what we're going to do is just name off all these fuses that we need. Go. Uh, open up our electronics. Servo relay, one of those, three of those, four of you, just one, two, three. There go. And we'll get the fuse box ready at least. Nice and pretty underneath the hood. I've got a, looks like I have a, a ECU here that I do not have. I have to buy that. I think I have to buy those new. I don't, can't think, I don't think you can uh, replace, repair those. It's like fuses. You can't repair the fuses. Let's go ahead and take the ECU type A, huh? I don't think I have any ECUs. I want to put you all in the electronics. ECU type A. Let's see if this is repairable. I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Yeah, I didn't think it was. So that is going to have to be bought new. Um, so we'll get that. Go ahead and buy ECU A. Done. ECU complete underneath there. Now I wanted to go find some parts for all that stuff. But other than that, um, it actually isn't a bad looking car. It looks like for the most part it will uh, come together pretty easy, I hope. So yeah, stay tuned. We will uh, see what we can do with this car. Thanks for hanging with me. I certainly appreciate it. We didn't do really too much today, but I think we did. Oh, I'm missing a bumper. Um, I think we did enough that um, we got a good start on this Falcon. And the Falcon is really, really low in miles. So I probably will keep this after I get it all taken care of. All right. Again, thanks for hanging with me. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit, give me a thumbs up down below. And I can't wait to see you guys again as we build this Falcon. Until next time, this is Hurst Quasar saying good night, everyone. And I am out.